Okay, Sarah, what are we doing? We're doing a Paris haul. Okay, we are in our Paris hotel room. And there's the window open. It's about, what time is it? It is exactly 9.10. It is 9.10. We're back in the hotel room. July 23rd, the day of the Tour de France finish. Yes, the day of the Tour de France finish, but we'll talk about that later in a vlog or something. But we're gonna do our, um, we're gonna do our haul right now. So, Sarah, get us started. All right, so first we went to Disneyland Paris. Yes. And the first thing I picked up was something I had seen on many halls and I knew I wanted. It is the 25th anniversary, but I prefer the regular Disneyland Paris motif because it's real nice. You have lots of different characters. I particularly like the dragon and then not so much the Peter Pan stuff I'm into, which is on the back. I don't like Peter Pan, but then you have the Walt Disney Studios and Lady and the Tramp and just a lot of different fun characters. There's the Hollywood Tower Hotel, Here's their version of Space Mountain. There's their Phantom Manor and all that. Yeah. Just a lot of different characters. Pirates of the Caribbean was on there. Right, Pirates of the Caribbean. And on the top it just says Disney in Paris. This yeah. was $12.99. And what was it full of? And it's full of, it said bonbons. I didn't. I knew it meant candy, but I didn't know what to expect. It's just mm -hmm. hard candies. Um, so they're pretty good. They're just little hard candies. It's pretty good. Candies. It came full, I'm trying to eat them all to save weight on the flight. Yes. Um, we should mention that we have concerns that our bags will be overweight for our flight to Rome. So that's what kept us from buying everything we wanted to. Another thing I got was this t-shirt. Originally I was going to get the Chippendale ears, but I decided mm -hmm. those were silly. Um, and I would never use them again. So instead I got this shirt. It says Phantom Manor. Disneyland Paris Phantom Manor. It glows in the dark. I don't know when I'll wear this, but I have a shirt for phosphorescent glow in the dark. I have a shirt for Space Mountain. I feel like having dedicated Disney shirts is not the dumbest thing in the world. If you feel you might go every two, three years. That's not even just a wear to Disney shirt. That's a wear all the time shirt. How much was that? This was $24.99. And where did you find it? I found it at the store in Frontierland, um, right across from the Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Which we didn't get to ride because the lines were so long the whole time we were there. And the fast passes were and done. The fast pass system was not working the one day that we ran into that first night. We have that on video. Next thing we got was we were looking for magnets and we couldn't find any magnets that really piqued our interest and they were only like six, seven dollars. So instead we got these little trays, two of them, because we just want to have one. They were three ninety nine each and they're just little trays, just a hard, hard plastic and it kind of encompasses everything in the park. It's got the very similar motif to the, mm -hmm. to the bonbon tin. Yeah. And we're going to make magnets out of them, very large magnets. Yeah, we're gonna put a magnet on the back and then just stick it on the fridge. But this is actually the only thing that I got, me being Kayla, the only thing that I got from Disney was one of those tricks. Um, I was really worried about weight. Sarah wasn't, as you can see. Right, again, I got this. This was a popcorn bucket. I wanted the popcorn and it was only another two and a half euros to get the souvenir bucket. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. She can wear it as a necklace when we go through the airport. It a necklace. It's just, Really cute. You got Lady and the Tramp back here. Lady and the Tramp back here. And we got the sweet popcorn, and we wanted to try the salty popcorn, but we never did. Chippendale. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I don't know what that is. That's the airship from something. Yeah. And just all the basics, including Duffy. Well, you're tilting it too much. We can't see it. Yeah, well, I'm trying to look at it too. And little Paris bags. Okay. So it's just cute. Okay. Figure something out. It was like nine euros with popcorn in it? Nine euros with popcorn. Okay. I think six and a half without. Okay. The bucket. This I got to finish the set of Tsum Tsums from the countries that I got. So it's a little differently shaped than the others, but I found it at Disneyland Paris. Or not the it? Disney store. It's Donald and Mickey Tsum Tsums for the country of Italy. And Mickey has a... Um, what do you call it? There's pictures on the back. <laughs> you moved it. All right, turn it. Here they're driving in the car. Donald's bouncing up. Because Mickey's hitting the curbs, I guess, at 100 miles an hour. Here's what they look like. Mickey is like Caesar. And Donald Duck is like an oarsman oh, in a Venice canal. Yeah, the rose in his mouth. It's cute. Very cute. This is 14.99 euros. Yep. Which it was actually... Was this... But this wasn't one of the one with purchase items. No. This okay. was this was if you spent like 17 euros, you could have got this for 6.99. One day, but we missed that. Yeah. 
we did get something that was with purchase. And that was six. Yeah. I knew I needed to get a picture from a ride. And I have decided that I wanted it for the Tower of Terror because I like that ride. And because it had this super cool picture to go with it. So this is bigger than I wanted to get, but it was a special with purchase. So we should say Disneyland Paris does something that I don't think Disney World does, where in certain stores they pick something to be on special that day, and if you spend $20 or 20 euros, you get it for 10 euros instead of 25 euros. Something like that. That makes sense in my head. But um, it was different at every store we went to, and it rotated every day. So if you wanted something, you might not have gotten it on sale at your store, but it would be on sale at the store next door. Right. Okay. So it's just a picture frame. Tilt it more this way because the plastic. light. We can't see it. It says Disneyland Paris, but the Paris is hidden down here under this. Yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. She kept trying to zoom in on just us. Yeah, we're right there. But I wanted the whole car. Don't move it too much. You're tilting it to the light. There you go. That's us. Yeah, it just looks better with the whole car. Because she zoomed one. in and we were all um, pixelated and stuff. Yeah, I have a matching one. Too bad. From the Disneyland Tokyo. Bear so how much is this normally? Character. This is normally twenty five ninety nine. And we had to pick up a few more things and purchase other things to get it for. I don't remember. Oh my goodness. It doesn't matter. Ten. It doesn't matter. right there. Okay. So that's the list I got from Disneyland Paris. Did I go overboard? Yes. Do I regret it? No. Will you regret I it when we're actually, trying to pack your bag? I didn't even buy all the things that I wanted to get because I wanted to get a lot of the 25th anniversary stuff. Yeah. But none of it was worth justifying possibly going over the weight. Is that all you got? That's all I got. From Disney? From Disney. All right, show us what you got from Paris then. So I really haven't gotten much from Paris because there wasn't a whole lot here that I was really chuffed about. So the one thing I was chuffed about was the catacombs. So I got two magnets. If they had shirts, if they had other things that I liked, I would have probably just went all out and bought it all. But they didn't really have a whole lot. So I got. They one had a lot of skull themed merchandise, but yeah, it didn't but say anything. Yeah, a lot of very generic skull themed merchandise. So. This is just a magnet that says the catacombs of Paris. Okay. Very scully. Cool. Very cool. And the next one I got is this. It doesn't necessarily say it's from the Catacombs of Paris, but if you've been there, you'll know. Hold it still. It says, Arrête, c'est ici l'Empire de la Mort. Which means, stop. Here is the Empire of the Dead. From Virgil. From Virgil. Yes, and I, that's what it says right on the top of it mm -hmm. as you enter the Catacombs. So if you've been to the Catacombs, you'll recognize this. Yes. Just very cool. Yes. Very cool. So that's all I got from the catacombs. And the next things I got were the only real pair of souvenirs I got. And it is has to do with Chat Noir, the cat. Because I just like the motif of it. So the first is a magnet. So we actually went to the bar, which is inhabiting the place where the cat noir used to be. And we had a drink there. It was a happy hour. Drinks were awful. Actually, mine mm -hmm. was okay. They were terrible. But anyway. This is kind of the only motif from Paris that I really like. Mm -hmm. So look, it has an Eiffel Tower on it. So now I didn't have to buy any more Eiffel Tower stuff. That's right. And what else? So there you go. So then I got this. I'm, I collect shot glasses, and they didn't have any shot glasses I liked. So this is actually a toothpick holder. So I'll probably throw this away. And again, it has the cat motif. Mm -hmm. So that's just a shot right. glass for my clothes. How much were the catacomb magnets? I believe they were four ninety nine each. Okay. And how much was the cat magnet? I think it was two or three euros, maybe two fifty. Yeah, they have this stuff at all those stalls that I'm sure the vlogs will show. Yeah. And how much was the your I think this makeshift shot glass? Two fifty. Okay. Anything else from Paris? No. Okay, that's Sarah's Paris haul. Hello, this is my Paris haul. I also am very concerned about weight in the bags, so and space, so I didn't get too much, but also there wasn't a whole lot that I said no to because there just wasn't a whole lot here I felt. So, I ended up finding some pretty cool things. First of all, Sarah got this totally awesome oven mitt when she was in a store. I didn't I didn't see this anywhere, anywhere at all. And I'm so excited because we got the one from London and now we have one from Paris. We have matching oven mitts for the different um, public transportation or underground subway, whatever. Even though the subway here is not anywhere near the well oiled machine that London's is, but that's okay. Um, so I'm so glad she found that. I got that for me. Isn't that sweet? Five euros. Can you believe it? I would have paid anything. So that was pretty cool, but Sarah bought that. So then I also got something from the catacombs. This is a magnet, and I thought it was just the absolute coolest one because, I'm going to show you here, 
it's got the picture on it and it says the catacombs of Paris, but then it's a book and you open it and it shows all the different pictures and it like, tells the story and pictures. And then it's, it was 6.95 euros, but here's, I kind of like the best thing. It magnets closed. So it's not hanging off your fridge all magneted open. And there we go, album magnet. Great, I didn't see that. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, so that was my catacomb souvenir. And then um, I got two magnets for the Louvre. I could not decide between the two and they're very, very similar. So one of these will have to go to school with me. But I of course did not get these from the Louvre. I got them from a little shop near the Louvre, but on them in different ways it says Louvre and Louvre. And this one has Venus de Milo on it and it's separate, it's like a piece of plastic that's glued on it. And this one has the armless angel thing, Winged whatever victory. they call it, winged victory, whatever. Um, and she's hanging off of there and I thought these were super cute. And they said Louvre, they showed the Louvre and they showed one of their famous artworks. So I liked those and I really, truly could not decide between them and I know they're so similar, but I got them both. I'll take one to school. Okay, so there's my magnets that I've got. And then I thought I was doomed to not finding anything else, but then I ended up finding a few things. First of all, my boyfriend requested, I made him request one thing because I wanted to get him something and I didn't want to get him something he would hate. He requested a Parisian scarf. That's what he requested. So I got two, oh, and these magnets were like four euros a piece. Um, so I got two scarves and so this will have to go up after he gets them, of course, but um, he likes to wear blue. So I got this scarf first because it was the first one I saw that truly looked like a man's scarf. And I like it, I think it looks good. I think it'll go with a lot, but it's got some exciting punches of color, right? So that was the first one, and do not tell him, but this one was, what was it? 10 euros, I think, maybe six. It was not expensive. It might've been 10 euros, I think. And then we got this one, which I saw absolutely everywhere at all of the little stalls, um, but it's so soft and it's blue again. So, so, so soft. And it feels really good quality, but on it, it has, and this is wrinkled because I shoved this in a mug, but let's show this side. It says Paris, and it's got the Eiffel Tower embroidered on it, and it's got the little things, and it, I, it's so soft, but can, did you see it at all? Yeah, okay. And then I got this one for, I think, five euros um, down on Monte uh, but I saw it everywhere for varying prices, so. He doesn't have to know how inexpensive these were because I would have paid more. All right, so that was it for Chris. I felt satisfied getting him two Parisian scarves. So then I was back on me. wasn't sure I was gonna find anything I like, but then I found this mug and I found the mug from the Tate Modern that had a similar motif where it was all the buildings and all the things to see and it showed the river that runs through the city. And I just thought it was, it's not the cutest, cutest one, but I do think it's pretty cute. Um, it's got the little life tower, it's got the Arc de Triomphe, it's got everything. It's got a lady with wiener dogs. Um, I just think it's super cute. I like where they show what everything is and where everything is. And they have extra things, so yeah, like, I guess it's got numbers for the arrondissements or however you say that, um, piggly. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Musée d'Orsay and it's got the Van Gogh piece inside of it. I just thought that was pretty cute. And it's pretty light for a mug. Um, this is the heaviest thing I probably bought. So, um, and probably the biggest too. So, there we go. Worthy sacrifice inside Eiffel Tower. This was, this was like seven euros 50. It was really not bad. All right, and then, lo and behold, I actually found a shirt I wanted. I found two shirts I wanted, but they were again, very similar, kind of like the magnets. Very, very similar. I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. So. They didn't have my size at this store. So I said, all right, the next store we go to that has these, if they have a small, I'll get whichever one has a small. And it was this one. So I think this is so cute. It has little like drawings of everything. It's got the Metro, it's got the, this is this Montmartre, Sacre-Cœur. Um, it's got Moulin Rouge up here. It actually labels things too. It's got the benches without the back bar. Those are around the Eiffel Tower. Um, the Arc de Triomphe, this thing, other things, it says Bastille. Um, Notre Dame, and I just love the colors. Like, it looks like it's been watercolored. Coffee. So I'm gonna wear this to work, Metro, because if I get paint on it, you won't be able to tell. Also, I just think it's super cute. So I was pretty surprised I was able to find that, and it was only 15 euros at the store that I found it out. 
So I was really pleased with that. There was another super cute one, but that's okay because they were really similar. Um, and then my last thing I got, I said, okay, no more souvenirs. I bought all the things I need. Um, it's gonna make my bag too heavy and full. But then I saw this from the bus when we were on our way to, where were we going? The Century Pompidou. I saw this on the bus when we were passing Notre Dame and I saw it hanging on the rack and I was like, oh my gosh, that was the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And by chance, we happened to go by there later and I saw it and found it and it is so pretty. This was two euros, three euros, something like that. It was so cheap and it's just so pretty. It's, it doesn't weigh a thing. It's like a tissue. It doesn't weigh anything um, because it's really super thin. But I just thought it was so pretty and I had to have it even though I already said I wasn't buying anything else. But come on, so pretty, right? Okay. And I'll wear that all the time, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, that's all the things I got from Paris.